Today, I'll walk you through a Notion template tour on how to track your debt payoff progress. You'll see how a Notion finance template works in action, including organizing all your debt in one place, using a loan tracker to track remaining balances and payoff progress bar, automatically update your account balances each time you pay off a debt, tracking credit card spending and paying it off at the same time. By the way, if you want a done-for-you template, check out the Ultimate Notion Finance Dashboard. Let's get started. Using an account balance tracker, you can keep track of both money borrowed from lenders like car, house, and student loans, as well as debts other than structured borrowing such as credit card, medical bills, installment plans, and tax debts. Let's create an entry in the debt account. Enter the beginning balance as a negative number since it's the money you owe. The ending balance will update automatically every time you make a payment or expense. I will show you how that works later. Now create a debt entry such as the credit card debt. Enter the beginning balance as a negative number. The next step is to use the loan tracker for tracking specific loan details. If you have created a few loans in the debt account tracker, you should also add them as individual loan entries in the loan tracker. Fill up all the details including things like the application date, loan amount, borrowing terms, interest rate, how much you have paid so far, and an automated countdown showing how close you are to paying it off. The next step is to connect each loan item to your budget planner. This step is important because it keeps your expenses recorded in sync and helps you monitor your loan repayments in real time. For example, if you have added a car loan to your loan tracker, create a matching car loan category in your budget planner. For a second car loan, create a separate category, make sure don't reuse the first category you created. I recommend naming each loan after the car model such as Honda Civic or Toyota Camry. Here's how my automation works. In your expense tracker, when you recorded the debt or loan repayment, make sure to tag the budget category that is connected to the loan tracker. Once this is done, your remaining balance will be reduced automatically. The countdown to your payoff date will update and the progress bar will increase to show your progress towards paying off the debt. Suppose you have a car loan of $10,000 and your monthly payment is $300. In your expense tracker, enter the $300 payment as an expense. We have already done that here. Set the from account as the account you're using to make the payment. Let's say you have $30,000 in the checking account before making the payment. Set the two account as the debt account associated with your lender. Make sure the amount out from your checking account is exactly the same as the amount into your debt account. This setup means that the payment has been applied in the debt account. Now after making $300 payments, your ending balance is automatically reduced to $9,700. When you buy groceries with your credit card, you can record this as expense in your expense tracker. The from account is your Chase credit card and the amount is $80. This increases your credit card balance which is your debt by $80 because now you owe that amount. At the same time, you also want to make a payment to reduce the debt balance on that credit card. Select account out, the account you're using to pay off the credit card. You can see this is the ending balance before you make the payment. Now select account in, the credit card you're using to pay it off. Make sure the amount in and amount out is identical. Go to your account tracker. You can see your credit card debt has been reduced as you record them as expenses. If you like this personal finance template, link in the description box below. Thanks for watching.